Hey everyone, Larry Snow here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up the Facebook Messenger customer chat plugin. If that's something you're interested in, it's coming up next. And before we get started, I want you to take a look at the finished product. This is what it's going to look like. And we're going to now take a look at how to set this up. Just a quick point of reference here. I'm not going to be actually using a WordPress plugin to show you how to install the Messenger app. There are a lot of uh, plugins that do that through the WordPress directory repository. This uh, video is about using the code that you get from the Facebook page and putting that into your website. Okay. In order for this to work, you need to have a Facebook business slash fan page. So if you don't have one, those all, all have one of those already, you'll need to create one. They're super easy to create, get it created. Then from your page, go to the settings on the far right. Once you're under settings, go to the messenger flat platform from the messenger platform. They have these jump links. So you want to click on the one that says customer chat plugin click on the jump to section. From here, you're gonna set up your messenger customer chat plugin through this setup uh, wizard here. And click next. From here, you can select your language and you can also change your greeting. Just for this example, I'm gonna keep it the same. Click next. Here you can set what your response time is. Now I say typically replies within an hour. You can do it as, as what your business dictates or what you uh, want to give yourself enough time to have a response so the person on the other end isn't waiting for an instant response. So this will be displayed on the widget as you can see here. I call it a widget. <laughs> uh, this will be displayed on your website right here. It says typically replies within an hour so that a person isn't waiting uh, to get a reply instantly. So manage that as you see fit. I say typically replies within an hour. You can also turn on or turn off custom colors. So I'm going to change that to a little green color. And then we're set with that. Then we'll click next. Now you'll need to add in your domain because the domain gets added to this code. If you don't put in your domain, this won't work. So make sure you put the domain that you're going to be adding it to and you can add in more than one domain. So let's say you have a suite of websites and you all have and it all goes into one Facebook page. You can add in all those domains and this will work. OK, so I've got that already set. I'll just click save. And you have an option to install the code by yourself or get a, an email of instructions sent to your developer. Of course, we're going to install it ourselves. So the next step, all we need to do is click this right here. It says copy code to clipboard. So we'll click it. It's now copied. Now we're going to go over to our website and install it. We're going to click finish here. So I'm over on my website. And I have a, a Genesis child theme. Now, something that you have to remember with WordPress is that you have a parent theme and a child theme. A child theme lets you uh, get to change things without changing the overall structure of your website. So if you don't already have a child theme installed, I highly recommend child theme configurator plugin to set up your child theme before you even do anything like we're doing here. OK, that's very important. I learned that the hard way years ago when I was first getting started with WordPress that if you make changes to your parent theme uh, and then the parent theme gets updated, then all of your changes go bye bye. OK, so make sure that you have a child theme installed before you start digging into the code. Now, one of the things that the Genesis Genesis theme settings has is the ability to put code in to the header and footer. Now, although the plugin itself from Facebook said put it in right below the body tag, I have tested this and it does work inside the header. So something for you to test out on your website, your website may have different results. But for me, with the Genesis child theme, it worked under the header. And I will put that in here. I'll scroll down here where I have it already uh, put in here. And I'll just delete this so I'll just show you exactly what happens. I'm just going to come down here where it says header scripts and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to click save changes. 
Now again, that is the Genesis child theme setup. It might not be your setup, so you might have to install a plugin, maybe, uh, I think it's called uh, Headers and Footers by WB Beginner. I think that's one still around. You might want to put that on your website if you're uncomfortable with going into the code and 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 putting this into a, your actual header.php or your footer.php. Uh, that was an easy plugin that I've used in the past, uh, headers and footers from WP Beginner. Okay. Now that we have our code in there, we're all done. So let's go to the website and take a look what it looks like. And I'm just going to refresh here. And there you go, it pops up right away. And it says, how can we help? And we're gonna say continue as Larry because I'm already linked, logged in to Facebook. Now, one of the features of this is that the person who's asking the question has to be logged into Facebook. And obviously you responding will respond from your page, okay? So let's see how this works. This is gonna get kind of meta here, but I'm gonna click on continue as Larry Snow. Now, I've already done this as a test back in 2017, but I'm going to do this as a test again. This is a test two, <laughs> and I'm going to click send, and I can add images if I like, but we won't do that here. And I'm going to click send. Now, I'm going to get a notification over on, the, uh, over on my Facebook. Let's get out of this. I'll get a notification here that says, hi, this is a this is test two. Now, one of the things that I've set up is an auto reply to anyone that comments. And I'm not gonna go over that in this video, maybe in a future video, if you find it interesting how I set this up, I can make another video for you. But post in the comments if you're interested to learn more about that. But I have this auto message reply to anyone who asked me a question on uh, Messenger. So there you go, it says this is a test two, and, and my re instant reply is, hey, thanks very much, I'll respond back to your questions as soon as I can. If it's urgent, email me, okay? And then I put in my link. And this is my reply, hi, test two, and I'll hit send, and I'll go back to my website, and it says right here, hi, test two. So we're having that back and forth conversation, which is what you want. It's kind of goofy with me doing it back and forth for myself, but that's how it works. So there you go, guys. That's an easy way to set up a conversation starter on your website with the Messenger Customer Chat plugin. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that this is something you're interested in, and I'll do more videos on that topic. And if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe. If you want to know more about me, come to this website, larrysnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.